Good morning, Saxa family. How are you guys all doing today? Hope you're on a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Guys, I got some good news, so do me a favor, drop a like on this video. And that good news is, well, we have the PlayStation 5. I am so excited. Uh, the sun's finally starting to come up. I just got home, charged the camera on the drive back, and uh, I just can't wait to get inside and play my PlayStation. I know I talked about it earlier, like how much I just want to play this thing because I didn't get to play it at the house. And dude, it just, it looks so beautiful. It's going to look so beautiful when I take it out of the box and set it up. Anyways, I'm going to go inside and start getting this thing set up. And I'm also going to send the vlog to future Jeff because uh, we have a sponsor today, which is really awesome. Thanks, Pat Jeff. I'll take it from here for a quick minute. Today's video is brought to you by my friends over at Buy Go Live. Now, you might be wondering, Jeff, what is Buy Go Live? Well, Buy Go Live is an enjoyable live streaming social network where you can meet interesting people and find a sense of belonging. And on top of that, they have some pretty awesome app features. Let's start off with the popular section, which has easy access to the most popular live streams on Buy Go all in one place. On top of that, we have multi guests, which allows you to broadcast with friends. You could end up broadcasting with four people, six people, nine people, all in the same grid. Now let's talk about PK. PK is an addictive and adrenaline filled feature where two broadcasters can connect their streams together and then they can compete against each other, which is pretty awesome. And then the next feature is called game and where's all my gamers at? So under game, you can join gaming live streams and interact with the Bygo Live gaming community. So do yourself a favor real quick and click the link down below in the video description, download Bygo and then follow me and also check the bar post to see any updates about the stream when I'm streaming or after the stream and how I just feel. On top of that, I'm going to be giving away four $100 Amazon gift cards to my followers over on Bygo. Also, speaking about giving away things, Bygo is also running a huge giveaway for the month of November. And that actually includes a PlayStation 5, a keyboard and mouse, a gaming monitor, a headset, and finally an Alienware gaming desktop. Thank you so much to Bygo for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, back to past Jeff. Thank you, future Jeff. And guys, welcome back to the vlog. Hope you guys are once again having a fantastic day. And oh my God, I am so excited. I got the PlayStation 5 set up. Mm. It looks beautiful. Not gonna lie. It, lo it looks it looks very, very nice. So that's my PlayStation 4. And for size comparison, my PlayStation 5 would not fit in this section. So I had to put it right back there to be able to just go right behind my monitor for my streaming setup here. As you guys see, when we are live, we got the camera set up right there. But, uh, man, that thing looks just so nice sitting there. I, I, I'm i in love. So I ended up installing Call of Duty, and I kind of want to play a match or two before I have to go to the gym for today. Ah, here we are back in my car. Okay, I'm ready to go to the gym now. Got my pre-workout. Mmm. Ah, uh, man, this stuff, this stuff's the good stuff. Anybody that works out knows pre-workout, it can be the good stuff, you know, it helps you get a good pump. Except today, I am not lifting. I have leg day, and leg day, <laughs> leg day is the worst day out there because your legs are going to be sore. Uh, I'm going to go over my routine for my leg day as soon as we get to the station gym. I'm just excited, though, to get it in. Because uh, I actually, I want to give you guys an update on the weight loss where I've been at. I see comments all over social media about my weight. Some people have noticed I've lost weight. Some people are like, yo, you're gaining weight. Just kind of mess with me. I figured I'd give you guys a progress update as soon as we get to the gym. All right, guys, so here we are back in the gym. It's been a while since I've actually vlogged myself here working out at the firehouse gym and uh, like I said before we're doing leg day which consists of a few things the first thing that's going to end up consisting is a mile on the treadmill and then from there we're going to do about five minutes on the stairmaster right and all right that's not bad do do a mile of cardio just on the treadmill five minutes to get the legs even more warmed up on that stairmaster but then we go into goblet squats where basically you're doing a squat and you're holding a weight from there, we're gonna do leg presses on the leg press right here. And then after that, we're gonna end up finishing it off with cow raises where basically I just hold weights on my side and stand on my tippy toes, stand back down. If you've been a long time subscriber, you would know back in 2018, I initially started my weight loss journey. And honestly, it's been a struggle. It has not been easy at all. And I know there's a lot of people out there like myself um, basically struggling, trying to lose weight, struggling 
to get in the best shape, struggling to get the motivation you need to have to get in the gym. I think for me, I have I know a few reasons why I kind of struggle with weight loss. I already kind of know my reasons. And the first one is I have addictive personality, which means, you know, I'm addicted to fast food. I like to eat Wawa, I like to eat Wendy's, I like to eat McDonald's. That's an issue. So I, one thing I've learned the past year is to do a lot more meal prepping. In the last two weeks, because I haven't worked out much and my diet hasn't been the cleanest because my addictive personality kind of kicked in with eating unhealthy things. I've gained almost 10 pounds and that's not good. Uh, and in the last two weeks, I haven't exercised much. I haven't done much of anything besides to just play a lot of video games on my computer. And I'm probably gonna play a lot more video games very soon on my PlayStation 5. But besides the last two weeks, if there's something I've learned in almost the past year since March, uh, when I really started working out and I had an opportunity to learn how to use the equipment here in my department gym from my friends Clay and Ian. They literally taught me how to use everything in this gym and since then, I kind of took advantage of that. And I went from 278, which was my highest, down to 250. Unfortunately, I did gain a few pounds the last few weeks, but now I know what to do and how to do it correctly. And that's the one thing that really gets me motivated because I know if I don't get a hold of my health, I'm gonna die young like my dad. And that's the one thing I don't want to have happen is I don't want to end up getting colon cancer by eating all these unhealthy foods. Like if you guys don't know, like do some research. Fast food is awful for you. Any processed food is awful for you. And like I find myself in the mistake eating all this because the food just tastes good. And that's part of the addictive personality and all that. But I wanna issue a challenge to all you guys out there that might be currently struggling with your weight. And I want you to start walking at least a mile a day. If you get on a treadmill, great. If you go outside and walk, great. If it's raining, substitute it with something else, maybe like push-ups, sit-ups, etc. But as I do my best to get healthier and better, I want you guys to do your best to get healthier and better as well. Now with all that being said, let's get the workout started. So that's gonna wrap it up for leg day today and everything is just sore. Leg day sucks. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I do enjoy doing leg day. It just absolutely sucks. Um, I'm gonna end up going real quick, wiping all the sweat off of me and then uh, I'll pick the vlog back up when I get home. Not gonna lie, uh, leg day absolutely sucked as per usual. Um, as you guys know, like I said earlier, I've been slacking in the gym. I've been slacking on leg day mostly anytime too. Instead of like, you know, because I do the push pull legs routine. Oh no. Oh uh, no. This is not good. Hello? Clifford, the big red dog. Hey, what's up, the man? What's up, Jess? What's the matter? You didn't want to pick up? We no. the last rank? Well, I, I was just getting home from the gym. And yeah, so you see I'm calling. It gave you time to put, turn your camera on and clickbait me. That's cool. Well, no, I was already vlogging. I was literally doing a gym exercise vlog. Gym exercise. Don't make me laugh, dude. So get this. So I'm packing up to move stuff to the new house and uh, went into theater. PlayStation's missing, bro. What's missing? My PlayStation 5. Your PlayStation 5. That's funny because I remember bringing a PlayStation 5 to your house. That was mine for you to unbox for your finance channel. Yeah, you gave me the console so I could review it and have it. No, I gave it to you so you could review it, not have it. Yeah, how can I do a good enough review if I'm not owning it for like a year or two? You Bro, understand? you literally I just... I wanted to do regular checkups and updates with say, a new game comes out. I can't... You tell, you told me I can't because I couldn't get my hands on one that you'd let me have. Bro, it. you just literally bought a $1.2 million lake house. Buy one off fucking eBay. No. Why not?
That's not the point, bro. You said you'd let me have the console. Dude. No, I said I let you review my console. Where is it? Where is it? It's set Where up in my console, bedroom. Dude, seriously. It's, it's in your bedroom. No, set up. No, you're going to have to bring it here, son. I'm not going back to Pennsylvania. That, scav that drive for the scavenger hunt sucked. You know how hard it is to get a console right now? I can't get them anywhere. You were my hookup. You hook it up to Bro, me. Bro, I hooked you. Console. No, I hooked you up to do the review. You That's all I hooked you up. You should be gaming right now, bro. You should be losing weight. You should be doing A. You should be working, bro. Then your mom, then your mom says you should be making money, not spending money on an expensive console. I'll freaking buy it off you for 500 bucks. No. No deal. No deal? No dude, deal. Give it back to me, dude. Bro, it's my PlayStation. You're probably gonna make, you're gonna use me for a video right now, and you're gonna make enough to buy another console. I don't know, dude. YouTube, YouTube ad rev isn't good. Yeah, BS. We're rating had high ad dollars, dude. It ain't fool me. Alright, you know what? I'm not giving you my PlayStation back. I was being a good homie, letting you use it for the finance channel so you could do a review, not for you to keep. Alright, you know what? Alright, you already wasted my time. I'm just gonna get a freaking thousand dollar one off eBay. Screw off, bro. Yeah, dude. I mean, you just gotta. All right, that's that's cool. Um, that is cool. Well, I might as well go shower and uh, go play my PlayStation Five. Ah, uh, ain't it just beautiful? The PlayStation Five controller and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm actually enjoying this game a lot more on the PlayStation 5 than I was on the PlayStation 4. On the PS4, I just had a lot of bad experiences with the map and stuff, just kept glitching out. But now that I'm on the PS5, anyways, the good news is though that I have my PlayStation 5 set up back here at my house. I am honestly very happy with that because after Jesse FaceTimed me, I decided to take a shower I take a very long nap, and that's because I lacked a lot of sleep recently. And now it's time to game all night playing Call of Duty. With that being said, Saxon family, I love you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out and well. Peace.